Alright guys, so today I'm going to be doing a tips and tricks video for beginners or new players to Iron Throne. So once you've completed the tutorial, whether you've paid attention to the storyline or not, it really doesn't matter, it's just a bit of context for how things are happening and stuff. Obviously you want to find out where you are on the map, what kind of resources are around you, monsters, stuff like that. Always go and hunt, a, hunt at least five monsters a day and kill some strongholds every day because it's free resources, free upgrade equipment, hammers and stuff. You get a bunch of good stuff. It's very, like you can do this even before you've gotten past the second tutorial if you want to, pretty much. And then what you want to do is you want to rush to Citadel 10. Don't worry about doing almost anything but at least one of each resource building. Don't worry about the barracks and the infirmary for now. But do at least one of each so you can get all your resource building plots open. Now, and then you can set up whatever you want. You could have like, if you want to hyper in one resource, you can do that if you just want to have a massive amount of troops like I am planning on you can get to that another thing is you want to join an alliance as soon as you can because every time someone kills a elite monster you can get a gift you can get gold speed ups alliance honor stuff like that but make sure your alliance leader is active enough to be putting stuff in the shop like our leader constantly puts in like XP boosters, shields, march cancels, which is stuff you know we sort of need but not really. There's got resource boosters in there, which is nothing that good. You can obviously buy resources, shields, walls, AP potions, disguise mysteries, defense, attack buffs, monster hunting buffs. Speed ups, obviously. Alliance speed ups are good for research. Can't buy any chests, which is not that good, but you get like VIP stuff, hero XP, ward XP boosters, relocate your buildings. I've never actually used them. Quest refreshes, stuff like that. Um, yeah. Always press help when you're in an alliance as well. That way you're that that you're a you're reducing the time taken for like others to upgrade and stuff, and then they'll be more likely to press help for you. In another game that I played, I think it was Mobile Strike. No one pressed help for anyone, and it took ages to get anything done. So I basically just gave up on that after two or three days. It was just stupid the amount of time it was taking. Um, yeah, back to the stronghold stuff. Defeating strongholds for the first time can give you troops, like if you defeat from level 1 to 5 it's T1s, 6 to 10, or 6 to 11 is T2s, you can get T3, T4, T5, T6, all the way up to T7 for defeating 31 to 35s. Um, always press help, I'll do that once I've loaded back in. So basically you want to get to Citadel 10 and then you want to start working on your town mode because with town mode you can get like construction speed bo boosts, research boosts, stuff like that right now I'm working on getting on gathering resources for account boosting that I'm going to do in the next day or two depends on how I feel and so I need troop capacity and gathering speed so that's why my first boost is Trip capacity 30%. Um, if you're going to buy a pack, I'd recommend buying the 30 day pack at the start just because you can get a fair bit of gold from that and a bunch of other stuff. A lot of speed ups, which is good. I needed those speed ups since I spent most of my research and my, like, you, you know, what's the words? Um, mixed speed ups, like for anything miscellaneous speed ups, that's the one, it's on doing a bunch of research, getting my attacks to like level 7 and my HPs and defenses to 5s, so 
see now whenever I gather my troops can carry 30% more so I keep refreshing till I get either well, troop capacity 3 doesn't help me it'd help if it was in buff 2 usually it usually takes me a while I don't think I've ever gone past spending 30k to get all the buffs that I want resource gathering speed that's what I wanted down there if I probably accidentally missed one there so now I'd go ahead and finish that I'll do that later though um, always always complete your VIP daily quests these 5,000 VIP points they can get you up levels pretty quick plus the conqueror material chest is quite good and you can get immortal hammers resources XP AP potions speed ups a lot of stuff that you're gonna need as your account reaches higher levels so once you also wanna go through and play through your tutorial in this and get at least the first one done because you get a hunter king sword now that's used for hunting monsters stuff like that um, you wanna do arena because that gives you part of your VIP quests done I don't think I can beat any of these, so I'll refresh. I should be able to beat. Yeah, I'll beat this. So arena is like you build your troops to how you want them. Like out of ten, you have ten troop slots. You can arrange your armies, and then they fight. You can use like different boosts, like meteor strikes. You can use a death knight. You can use a troll. I don't bother. I just um put meteor strikes straight onto their archers or their infantry just because it knocks them down a fair bit of HP and then my cavalry will come back and finish them and it'll take them less time um, now training troops at the start you obviously have some T3 unlocked you have your T3 you have your T3 infantry unlocked at 10 I think is that 11 11 so FT2's unlocked. Do you want to have enough T1s for gathering? Let's see, I've got my 100k of each T1. That's just for gathering. At the moment, I can't send all of them. I can send like 380,000 of them out if I sent everything out in one go. But you know, that's not going to happen. I forgot to send my T6s there. Always try to keep like your T. If you have T7s or because T7s, if they're not wounded, and they can't be revived, so they're going to die. And you never want your T7s to die, because they're, be they're your best troop. So what you want to do is, because Siege, get the Siege out of the way, they're useless. Uh, you can keep your T5s and stuff. I'm not going to bother doing that now, I'm shielded anyway. Another thing, always keep yourself shielded unless you want to be paying for healing pretty much every single day. Because one night I forgot to shield, I woke up zero in the morning. Some big guy just slapped me. That's why I boosted a bunch of troops to try and prevent that. But the sad thing was that they were only T1, so I'm probably still going to get slapped. Um, another thing you should probably do is once you're at 10 and got your resource buildings built up go up to like 13 at least so you can get the rest of the hunter set or well, most of the rest of the hunter set so then you can attack monsters and stuff now upgrade that to immortal so you go to craft upgrade and then you can choose what you want to upgrade like with this I'm going to be upgrading this to immortal because I can basically do it for free for all of them which will give me extra resource production um, one of my guildmates had a question about like assigning heroes, so I'll get to that in a sec. So what you, with the assigning heroes, right? You got you got to have right. So I've got him as assigned as an architect, right? I got Harold assigned as an architect. If I go and look at this, three hours and forty-seven minutes. Now if I unassign him. So if I take him off being my architect, goes from 3 hours and 47 minutes to 5 hours and 50 minutes. 
So a signing can make a decent, like, with the bigger upgrades it can, if it'll obviously take more time off because it's just takes longer, so. Once I get the full Glorious set, which I'm pretty sure I just need to go into Arena a couple more times to get the helmet for it. Yeah, Arena three more times and I've got the helmet. That'll increase my research, my construction speed. Um, do your research as well. You want to keep your research going. Always have a research going, and if you can, always have a construction going as well. Now I'm focusing on, well I will be doing this later, just because I need to be able to hold more troops, well, I want to hold more troops, and yeah that's pretty much it. Don't build troops unless your beds can hold them. Yes you can revive your troops, but it's going to be a pain in the butt to keep doing it, and it's going to cost a hell of a lot of resources. Uh, once you get to 10, once you get to level 10, you can well, level eleven. You can build your marketplace. I wouldn't recommend sending. I'd recommend just boosting that at least to a level eleven, probably to like thirteen, fourteen minimum, just because the tax rate is ridiculous before level not before level eleven. It's absolutely stupid. Um. Yeah, with your prison, you can map. You can upgrade that if you want, but you're not gonna really get anything better out of it. That's why I sort of just left it at 16. Same with my altar. My battle hall, I will be upgrading that definitely because I'm starting to attack defi defiled strongholds and I want more of my guild members to send more troops or have room for more. Um, actually it's the alliance event for attacking defiled so I'll probably be doing a few of those later with cable um, yeah try and keep a bunch of troops in there that way it just saves beds saves your infirmary space and that way or you can build more to max out your infirmary space if you have to uh, so in the next three or four day like two maybe three weeks depending on how quickly I can gather large amounts of resources including silver silver I'll be doing a troop boosting video a research boosting video and a construction boosting video um, big shout out to Satan's Pitbull again because he said that once if we get our Alliance castle up he said he'd help speed it up, so he's going to probably port over and put in T5, T6 troops. So we need three more members for that. So thanks to him again. He's done a fair bit to help us, like, given me a few tips. He's given, he's, like, helped us with strongholds and stuff. Um, yeah, that's about it. I think we're trying to get all of us to have the ebony skin. I bought that yesterday just to annoy one of my guild mates. Uh, I can still change the advent skin for 1000. Probably not going to change though. I like them both but just depends. I'm actually saving up for another skin. You guys let me know which one you want me to buy whether it's the luminous, the hanging garden, the renaissance or the ancient golden castle. Let me know which you want me to save up for. Uh, if you have any other, anything else you want to know, then let me know in the comments. Um, I read all your comments and reply to most. Um, with the town mode, go through and complete it as soon as you can. Complete it just as soon as you can because of infirmary officer set. It's, it is actually, it's a very good set. I think it's... You get a hundred thousand or two hundred thousand, yeah, two hundred thousand of like infirmary space. So instead of only being able to hold like eight hundred and thirty-two thousand, I can hold a million of thirty-two thousand. Sooner I get all these to nineteen, the sooner I'll be able to do troop training. That'll probably be the main focus of my construction pushing video, is just getting them up. 
Um, yeah, always use your random cards. Since I've been farming a bunch of strongholds, I have a lot of cards. You can get kindling, war trumpets, shackles, stuff like that for free. It's actually quite good. You can get runes, resources. Of course I didn't get any of the good stuff on my first on my go, did I? Got all the crap stuff. I won't get anything oh there we go. Three twenty four hour speed ups. Means better than the rune chests. I don't really pay attention to runes at the moment. I may as well open the rest. I mean I've got over a thousand coins. Um actually yeah I have no idea what I'm doing when it comes to like runes and stuff. I'm not, like, I haven't worked on that much, haven't done anything about it. Should probably put that on. Who do I use for gathering? I should actually probably switch this to, like, Rand or something, or Toma. No, but he's gathering as well, so probably Eldred. And then put this set on Tors, but I'll do that later. Um, yeah, that's about it. I could, actually, I might, do you want, I should build a full friggin' glorious set and put it on now, but, so yeah, I actually hit VIP 13, uh, 11, sorry, so, that's, like, two minute extra of, um, free time, a little bit more resource production rate. Troop capacity increase, which is quite nice. Auto open chest 150, which I really want. 20,000 injured troops extra, which is something that's really going to help me because I plan on building a lot of troops. A little bit of troop attack, defense, stuff like that. 300,000 more in my reserves, which means I can, my warehouse can store almost 10 million of everything. I'll be boosting that up to. 19 as well, so I'll be able to hold 10 million of everything. I plan on having a full march of my T6, T7, T5s, and then T4 infantry in the warehouse. Um, so, yeah, I think that's about it. If you guys have anything else you just want to know, then let me know in the comments. If you have any video ideas, let me don't know down in the comments if you have any other games or anything that you want me to play or you want me to try out or yeah basically anything or if you have some advice for this game if you wanna you know like let me know something that I may not know yet then just let me know down in the comments alright peace